So here's a different uh, distribution. This is Big Linux and all Big Linux. And this is a Manjaro based distribution all the way from Brazil, which has been around for quite, uh, quite a long time and seems to be pretty popular back in its home country and taking a look at its site. Um, it really been quite nicely laid out, talking about uh, the different types of software, office software, uses web apps, uh, talks about gaming, online conversations, remote access, at restore points, a multitude of programs that can get programs from the Manjaro repos, the AUR, Flatpak, and Snap. Uh, has good integration for app images, uh, can run Java programs, or Java programs, and can convert Deb and RPM installations. And I'm sure the success rate on that is based on the program. And of course, uses KDE Connect as well, so you can integrate it with your smartphone. And I believe by default, it uses uh, compression on the file system. And yep, seems uh, current Android apps convert resize multiple desktops and I participate in the community and it is just uh, quite a lot that uh, this uh, seems to offer on the box. Uh, going to the download section, of course, a um, bit interesting here. And you can see the recommended specs, 4 gigs of GSUB memory and 4 to gig hard drive space. But if you look down at the options to download, there's the big Linux uh, kernel using 515, LTS edition, 6.1, uh, another LTS edition, the kernel, uh, or the current uh, uh, kernel for the current uh, ongoing. So assume this will this edition continues probably to use uh, but um, only with kernel and probably updates the kernel more often. And then it talks about which uh, version you should use uh, and on the lower, below spec computer, more high spec computer. Uh, in my case, of course, I've just come ahead and downloaded the recommended, which is 6.1 and we're going to go through it. So machine and of course this is the clinics so now since this is Manjaro based I'm just gonna say it's Manjaro now let's give this at least eight kicks of memory eight CPU cores they want some lot of just space so we'll get to it and we're just gonna call it the Linux and we can uh, start it up and let's take a look here. Okay, so we can start with proprietary drivers or the open source drivers. And of course, uh, proprietary, not only graphics, but also those folks that have uh, Broadcom wireless adapters as well. I'm just gonna choose the first option, although I could choose the open source edition. And it shouldn't uh, make much of a difference. And as you can see here, is he starting? Yeah, if we really like this here, it gives you immediately your language options uh, in Mesh US, and here you can choose uh, the theme that we're going to want for the apps Breeze, Fluent, Solid. So, of course, you can see this uh, makes use of Kenny Eve. So, I'm going to choose Big Clinic Stark and uh, what. Uh, Time to out to it. Want new next generation K unit classic modern disk X. You know what? Let's choose the next G next generation. Really nice uh, wallpaper, I must say. And that this always comes with. I don't really talk about wallpapers, but uh, this one is actually pretty, very pretty. Okay, so first thing is let's install the system. Making this Calamari installer. It does tell us that we should install on BTRFS partition to have snapshots or store points. And do uh, not create a swap partition or separate partition for boot if you use Wi Fi. Create a separate partition for boot only. 
the tin. And immediately, of course, before we can go any further with insulation, it gives us uh, a couple of options here. So assume that depending on how, what option you select here, it changes the default config of Calamares or whichever Calamares is fully we use. Uh, so it is, we could choose pattern and desistate um, recording. That works with our partitioning tables, performance with pattern, performance compatibility. Um, and of course, a lot of these are also based with um, some of the in the file systems as well. So I'm just going to use performance and here it starts up. The rest of the disk. Again, you see I can't change file system that was earlier. Next, install. And sort of now. Back and you start, hit done. And this took not even four minutes to Installed. Really a nice choice of wallpaper. And small but nice uh, feature that. Uh, big Linux next. The themes to desktops. Okay, so let's do themes. Gonna leave the theme the same. Desktop. I'm actually gonna change it to modern. Change this pretty quickly. settings okay so you can have this a performance mode so by that i assume it probably disables some of the additional animations browse acceleration okay brave configurations open no fetch advertisements all right just programs to load a memory to boot so we don't need LibreOffice. Okay, I'll make that for now. Uh, we can only put Chrome, surely, and Firefox. All right. Uh, usability, connect RGB from keyboard. Window buttons on the left side. Nice, that's out of the box. Mouse scrolling inverted. Touchpad scrolling inverted. Have the ability to search archives. Small, couple of small settings at the box, but really makes us uh, accessible. Uh, your default browser. Okay, well, TM, the most keep on Brave. Uh, if you need to scan your kitty connect. And now, uh, very nicely done. Uh, your big driver manager. Okay, driver detective, this don't need. Cool, well, let's close that. A big info. Generating a hardware information report. Okay. Really nice. Tells us what's in here. Okay, and it's actually also using the woman jar or kernel. Printers. And here, of course, if you want to use noise reducer, web apps, big store, control center. So this here makes use of quite a bit of web apps. So if I click here on web apps, uh, they have Google web apps. So you want to access YouTube, YouTube music as a web app, or if you want to access uh, Discord, Big Linux forum, etc. So if I was to click on one of these so let's say I was to click on Notion of course it's a active web app uh, as I like to call them uh, which is basically just running from a browser uh, so if I click here on the web apps so we can add additional web apps which is the same as uh, you can do this in the next minter spore but uh, they choose a little bit more uh, basic. Uh, here, of course, it has the native apps. And you can choose if we had installed a different browser, we could make that the default one, I take it. And here it's got the 
big Linux uh, web apps. So let's say, for example, I stop translation tuning radio and I was to go back here. Uh, Dean wouldn't see. Okay, so web apps it would become from here and um, translator from from here. So really nice uh, piece of software. Really nice. The big store. So this is their version of an app store. And I must admit, this looks absolutely really good. Uh, flat packs automatically enabled. Uh, step packages disabled. And the normal settings, additional settings you would get here. If you need to fix uh, the keys or an issue with your repositories or your keys. Uh, but if you go just to uh, the main screen, uh, flat pack, here you are native, so the three different places from search from. So let's say I want to install a, let's go to multimedia. I really like how everything's nicely laid out in its categories. So I'm going to go audio players. And let's say we want uh, Audacious. We'll hit install. And I'm just going to press install. Now the question is, where is it getting it from immediately? Okay, so it's for first, I assume due to that order, native, AUR, and then flat pack. So I'll just apply it over here. And this is going to go and get its downloads in the meantime. So uh, let's go next. And of course, if you want to donate, go to the forum. And if the links can, just tick this off. And congratulations on our first steps. Cool. Uh, I'm going to go to the control center first. And as you can see, a wealth of config options. Really awesome. System. Please, so I guess I'm going to have to still go to the kitty control center and then put them at there to display. Because we just want to fix this resolution and I want it. Chairs, this I'm so busy here. In the chat, uh, and the software. And you see if I go to multimedia, it's installed uh, audacious. Okay, so main screen here, we can open up theme desktop settings, which we've done now. Uh, this tool program for configuration. So if we need to restore something setting, we can. So if I click on Kate, uh, we can res restore it in standard mode. And you can erase all the customizations if we need. So see what you reset to. It's labs with settings for default. And there's even an option here we can select which kernel you're going to use. So if you want to go back to LTS version, you can do that. And of course here yeah, it is using one of the old latest ones. Uh, but of course the arm S so we can if we want until we can go from LTS to a non LTS edition. The monitors and screen has and each thing here of course shows you what it does. Snapshots and backups. Just open the sub uh, activated. So if we wanted to browse, uh, we can browse to the previous files or we can, if we needed to, we could uh, do a restore, which I think I've actually just done. Uh, okay. Network settings, so when you should connections, and integration with Google Drive and Cloud. Okay, so let's bring in power, the, the KDE module. So, and, uh, if you meet your application, Android application support, you can install Android. Android, if you need to connect uh, to your phone and configure it out the box. will not share files with your phone easily. And default applications. So, a lot of this here is pointing to already 
created configuration screens, but just makes them more accessible. Really. And duplicate a firewall. And if I go click on server, browse servers, browse search edge servers, search for BNC servers, device. Then here, of course, um, more search into here. Development, huge assistant about. So I'm going to center. Uh, the Linux based in the Chero, Manjaro. We some some of the latest software. Mount the box. Okay, this was the same. A hard ring from the Syrian. So now, uh, pretty, pretty wise. Um, just stop the fix. Now, excuse the option which wants to handle which wants to disable. And so I go to desktop and wallpaper. Just, I don't genuinely look at wallpapers as you know it, but after something else, fantastic wallpapers at this district. Really nice ones. I must uh, actually copy some of these all from you. Uh, I might like personally use this, so I don't mind this trip, but uh, I would have mind uh, taking out big Android selfies. So, choose this to strip for? Well, okay, if you want to use something that uh, uses AUR and is and Jira based, I'm not going to call it Lodge based, even though if it does use Pac Man, um, you know, go ahead. This is got. I'm a little bit overwhelming also with its settings and quite a lot of web apps, but I have to say I'm very impressed with the options of this distro and the settings it gives you out of the box and how you can easily change it. And honestly, I really wish that uh, some of the other distros I've looked at um, were as polished as this. I mean, they're the continuity between the big store, the control center, um, is, is fantastic. It really looks like a well integrated functioning system, I have to say. But even the, the details of a wallpaper works perfectly with this. So I'm going to say, why not try it out? Um, Stability wise should be relatively pretty stable since it's using the RTS kernel, but again, bringing a software from the AUR and it is always a bit risky. And of course, if there's a major bug that was to hint from Manjaro, it we might hit this, likely to hit this as well. Um, but uh, yeah, this is this is awesome. I'd really like to actually see a version of this based on the pure launch uh, with these additional tools. I think it would be fantastic. Uh, and yeah, uh, leave your comments below and always thank you for watching. Mm -hmm.